Welcome to the demonstration movie for Ferro HD. In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to use drawing objects or drawing shapes. To access the drawing objects, click the Draw tab. They're right over here, Drawing Objects. And as we have a look at the available shapes uh, right out of the box, you've got a hollow rectangle, filled rectangle, hollow ellipse, filled ellipse. The Polygon tool, we'll get into that more in a little bit. We've got a hollow box, filled box, pyramid, hollow cylinder, filled cylinder cone and sphere. So in order to draw any of these shapes, just a simple matter of clicking the shape that you want. Click once to begin drawing, click twice to finish drawing, and as with any drawing object or model in Feral HD, adjusting the properties very easy to do. Just click on the object you've just drawn, and then all of its properties appear in the left hand side. Let's adjust these properties here. We'll go to 120 feet in length. We'll go to 85.5 feet in width and we'll even give it a height of say four feet. Now you can see uh, we've completed our job. We've got the proper dimensions and the proper height. If you wanted to get even more precise with your customization again click on the object you've drawn. Properties appear on the left. Let's change the fill color to uh, maroon. Select the color, click OK, and you've changed your color. Even more advanced features over here under Show Advanced Options, and that would include uh, the paint opacity, in other words, the clarity or translucence of the object you've drawn. Uh, say you've got a piece of evidence under an object you drew and you wanted to draw attention to it, you can make it uh, opaque. We can also increase the reflectivity, which deals with the amount of reflection of the ambient light in the area. The higher the number, the more reflective it is of the ambient light. And you can even adjust uh, your textures in here to whatever they want to be. Let's show you how the, the brick would look. So again, very easy to really customize your, your drawing object to whatever you want it to be. Now I had mentioned that the um, Polygon tool was a unique tool. Let me demonstrate why we say that. It's great for filling irregular shapes. So let me show you what I'm talking about by going to uh, top down 2D view. I'll grab our polyline tool and we'll draw a unique shape. You know, this might be something that you would use to say, draw uh, a raised traffic island or something uh, of that nature. Now, obviously, we wouldn't be able to fill this hollow shape with a, a rectangle or an ellipse. So this is where polygon comes into play. We'll select it. I'm going to make sure that my snap to entity is on. And then I'm just going to drag the polygon shape around the interior of this shape. I'm going to actually make a little mistake here so I can show you how easy it is to just adjust any missteps that you might make. So there we've filled this area, but you, you see the problem, we've got a gap. Well, in order to fix that, all you need to do is click on the polygon you've just drawn, and then you've got the, the vertex, vertices here that you can just slide right into place in case you're not precise enough. Now we've got that area filled, we've still got this unique area filled to fill, so we'll grab our polygon tool again, grab here, and then just click, 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 and we are done. Now you can see again we need a bit of an adjustment here. Easy to do. Just click on the shape we want to alter and pull it into place. Now we've got a irregular shape filled with the polygon tool. Let's apply a texture to our raised median. We'll say for the purposes of this example it's a grassy medium. Just click on it. Properties appear on the left hand side. We'll click on the texture tab. Go to our ground cover, pick a grass color. There's our first shape, or first texture rather. We'll do the same for the second shape. And now what we want to do is we want to raise this up off the ground. So for that, we click on the shape we want to alter or adjust. Here's our extrude. We'll give it a height of two feet. Here's our extrude. We'll give it a height of two feet. And as we slip into the 3D mode, you'll see that we've completed our objective. Added a texture, filled it nicely with the polygon tool, and there you have it. A quick overview of using drawing objects in Ferro HD. Thanks for watching.